Hey guys, just finished watching uh, Legion Season 1, Episode 14, or 4, um, Chapter 4. Uh, this episode was pretty cool. I mean, the, this whole show was pretty awesome. Now, I just I was thinking about this this thing. You know, I mean, I don't watch the shows uh, live on, the, on TV or anything like that. Just because they appear, they they show at ten o'clock at night, and I just find it so late to do that. I'm not you know uh, awake enough to be able to watch it at ten o'clock to be able to get in this because these shows are so complicated and so they make you think that if you watch this half asleep, then you're kind of you're not you're you're not being able to, to to take it in as as well. So I just think that these shows. I wish they they premiered them. Uh, they put them out a little bit earlier during the day during the day, like you know eight, uh, seven eight o'clock something like that around there. It would be interesting to see that way you could actually think about it, not you're half asleep trying to watch it, you know, uh, on TV. So I think it's gonna be interesting to see. Uh, you know, I just think that it would be see how things go for next season and what they change the timeline or something like that. I just think that this show um, would probably do a little bit better, you know, in a better timeline. But maybe because it's a more, you know, violent. Or no, I guess it's not violent. I guess some of the things are more mature, uh, mature content sometimes. I guess by having they have to have it at 10 p.m. or anything like that. But we'll have to wait and see how things go if they go for a season, for season two, and what if they change the time or something like that. But. Um, Getting to this episode, this episode was quite fun. It was quite interesting. I mean, the first bit was kind of confusing, but it was cool seeing David. Uh, I guess he's kind of trying to starting to learn his powers. In the first three episodes, he was just kind of coming to deal with the fact that his powers are powers and not just him being psychotic and all that stuff. So I think that was cool. And I'm glad that he's starting to uh, build up to learning his powers. And I think it's going to be interesting to see if by the end of, you know, we're halfway through the show already. We only have four more episodes. By the end of this, uh, does he have full control of his powers? And then do we jump into season two with full control of his with of his powers or something like that? And that's gonna be cool to see, um, you know, how if we get a season two, uh, how it's gonna go. And I think I'm pretty sure we would be getting a season season two. I'm not sure really what the ratings are for this, but uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people like this. I love it. Uh, I think definitely would be cool to see season two. But I like to keeping it at a you know eight or ten episodes, um, you know, rather than getting a full twenty season. I think it would just be a lot for this. Um, but I think it would be cool uh, to see where things go in next week's episode. It's definitely going to be interesting to see him trying to go and get his sister and stuff and trying to use his power through that and building up. So hopefully by the end we can get a really cool, um, you know, battle or something like that. Definitely can't wait to see if we get someone, uh, an actual recognizable X-Men character from, uh, or anyone, any X-Men character from the comics other than uh, David and maybe someone else, um, you know, anyone. i just pick anyone from the mu New Mutants or anything like that, obscure, just someone who's actually from the comics would be cool to see. Uh, maybe we can do that for season two or something like that. That's going to be cool if we get to see in some some see where that would go there. But it's definitely going to be interesting to see where things go and finding out what's real and what's, what's replaced from his memories and what are his um, his uh, real memories. That's going to be fun to see where things go with that. Um, that's going to be interesting to see where things go. Uh, I definitely can't wait to see how things go. Maybe the, the, the real memories will show who his father is or something like that. That's going to be really interesting to see. Um, now I wonder to see if they 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 if they say they tell us that his father is uh, Charles Xavier Professor X. You know if they do that, I think that would be really cool to doing that, and then maybe ending uh, this this sh the, this season um, with him meeting you know Charles Xavier type of thing. I think that would be cool. Um, now I don't know if they're they're gonna do Patrick Stewart or anything like that. I doubt it. I think he did say he's he wants to retire now that he's done Logan and stuff. Um, but it's definitely interesting to see. Maybe we get James McAvoy. Maybe. Um, but uh, or we just get another actor completely separate from the movies and have you know do their own X-Men type thing. I think that would be cool to see something like that. Maybe see uh, you know a version of Charles Xavier and a version of the school and see him you know learning to uh, meeting all the X-Men and stuff like that. I think that would be cool. I'm not actually seeing the X-Men because I know uh, they're doing another X-Men show over um, on Fox with Brett with Brian Singer involved. Um, but actually seeing you know Charles Xavier or something like that that would be cool to seeing that. And maybe seeing his school with all the with all with all the kids and stuff, but maybe not the actual X Men or anything like that. I think that would be cool to see that and see where things go with that. And actually, we're just getting to see some other characters that are recognizable from the comic books rather than just Legion. So I think it was definitely a fun episode. Uh, definitely uh, interesting to building up his powers um, and seeing him, you know, learn kind of learn to control him and just kind of he's learned he can do pretty much anything, um, which was kind of cool. And I definitely can't wait to see where things go. From here so let me know what you think guys about this in the comments below um i mean i don't know if this guy this guy was it i don't think anyone here was if, if anyone in this episode like that ice guy who had the ice power which was in like the stuck in the place from inside of that um scuba tank uh thing i don't know if he's from the comics or anything like that um if he is let me know in the comments below 
but uh, definitely can't wait to see where things go with him. Maybe he could be Iceman or something. Maybe he's a version of Iceman. We'll have to wait and see. But let me know what you think, guys, about this episode in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Peace.